Hey, Jax, if you're one-on-one, -on -one, I'm throwing you this pill. Sure enough, gave us a one-on-one -on -one look. Corner was soft. Jax hit him with some speed. Back pylon, back box throw. All right, guys, with the football Friday this week, highlighting the game-winning catch from the Monday Night Football game, as Drew Locke was just saying, they with if they were going to have that one-on-one -on -one coverage, they were going to attack and throw it to Jackson Smith and Jeeb up here. What the Eagles did on this drive was they tried to make it look like a zone coverage, but they really ended up just playing man-to-man -man with one high safety. While the one high safety was always aligned to the side with DK Metcalf because they were very nervous about him going deep, so they always had this safety floating on his side. The other safety would come down here and try to rob anything across the middle. All right, so the Seahawks saw that, so they made an adjustment. They put DK in the slot on this side. They put Tyler Lockett over here. They knew this safety would float to their side to be able to watch for them, all right, and cover anything deep. So they took advantage of Jackson Smith and Jeeb's speed, and they put him opposite that and allowed him to get that one-on-one -on -one coverage like they talked about. Now when they run this play, one thing that they do right away, Drew Locke identifies that safety, sees him coming down. He knows he has the deep shot over here. Now he talked about throwing it to that back pylon. When he lands with his feet initially right here, the way his body is, is he's actually turned and he's really faced towards about that front pylon. So as he sees that Smith and Jeep is going to win that route, he does a good job of resetting those feet as he steps into the throw and he adjusts and now he opens up his foot. So that back foot now is faced. If we draw that line, it's going to land at that back pylon here instead of landing back over by the front pylon. So that's going to allow Smith and Jeep to have a little bit more room to work with. All right, so for quarterbacks, you always want to make sure especially for these deep throws. You need to reset your feet and have your feet going exactly where you want the ball to go, all right? Because if you don't, it's going to dr trail and drift off to the sidelines. For wide receivers here, for Smith and Jeeba, with this guy playing off coverage, he knows he's on an island. So right now, we can just beat him flat with speed. The DBs face this direction. We're facing the direction we want to go. So we don't need to do anything crazy. We want to be able to just get to where we need to go and running fast is the best way to do that. When he aligns himself, he does a good job saying just below the numbers. He gives himself plenty of room to the sideline to work with here. All right, that's about 8 to 10 yards away from the sideline. Then as he makes this break, he's going to land with one step, go around him with a little bit of speed, and then he's going to restack. So we're going to see him as he came up here. All right, he's going to be about 2 yards away from the bottom of the numbers. He's going to make his break. He's going to get pushed out to about here, but then he's going to come back inside and he's going to move about a yard or two in. So that way he doesn't keep drifting and he doesn't drift off towards the sidelines, running the risk of running out of bounds. So he does a good job of at least coming back one or two yards to get in front. So now that he's in front directly, there's no way for Bradbury to make a play on the football. He has to just trail behind him. Does a very good job of locating, getting the hands up, pinkies together, and it allows him to make this catch. And it's obviously the game winner for the Seattle Seahawks.